I also wanted to um, make a few points that were brought up for me by this article in the Los Angeles Times for today, um, Tuesday. It says, <clears throat> protesters irk supporters of Proposition 8. Uh, and I had a reaction when I read that. Um, I really felt a little bit sarcastic in wanting to say that I'm, I'm so sorry to those of you who voted for Proposition 8 that you are irked uh, and that my clamoring for basic equality and for decency and for the recognition by uh, the instrument of the people, the government, the recognition by the government of my own humanity uh, in equal measure to that of my neighbors, um, uh, uh, which has been denied me, I'm sorry that that irks you. Um, I hope that you can get over your irking. Um, uh, personally, myself, when I'm irked, I try turning to my spiritual path, uh, my religion, um, or laughter. I put on a funny video. Um, or you could just call me if you like, and, and, and maybe I'll try to talk it out with you and relieve some of your irkness while I'm going about procuring my equal rights um, so that both of us can live in equal respect from each other and the government, legally speaking. Um, the article uh, uh, goes on to describe a couple of citizens who uh, felt that the protests were ridiculous because the people had voted and had their say. Uh, and I just wanted to remind everyone that the Constitution, both of the state of California and of the United States, takes uh, the framers took a, a lot of care in writing the Constitution with protections for minorities. Um, that minorities would be and should be protected from uh, mob rule or from an oppressive majority. Um, and it is under those auspices that instruments of the Constitution, such as the Supreme Court and courts in general, and also the legislature, um, come to the aid in their decision-making uh, of, uh, come to the aid of minorities. Uh, for example, uh, the gay population of California. Um, and also it's been raised, the point has been raised that uh, the people have voted twice on this and turned it down. And I just wanted to remind everyone that the first vote, uh, Proposition 22, some years ago, was overturned by the instrument, uh, the duly appointed instrument of the people's will for governance, that would be the state Supreme Court, which found Proposition 22 uh, unconstitutional according to the Constitution of the state of California under which we all live and under which we all agree to operate. So that nullified the first vote, uh, so you really can't count that as a victory. And the, the second vote, uh, there are now legal cases pending which question the validity of the changing of the Constitution with a straight-to-the-people referendum as opposed to the legislature voting on it and then sending it to the people. That's the legal challenge now uh, coming before the courts. And finally, the article has... Um, a few pieces of information that you may, you may want to look up on latimes.com slash now, N-O-W. Um, an exit poll showing how different groups in LA voted on Prop 8. Are African Americans being criticized unfairly for Prop 8's passage? I've uh, been sent articles from friends which debunk that uh, supposed myth that African Americans voted uh, uh, unfairly in favor of it. Um, it... it uh, uh, points out that the polls were not correctly taken that reported that, and that there are polls that uh, uh, contradict that. So please look at that. Uh, where are activists planning their next demonstration? Well, stay tuned here. And share your opinions about the election. It's always good to mouth off online. That's what it's for. Uh, they also have interactive maps, county-by-county county comparisons, uh, and they have a database of Prop 8 contributors. Well, information leads to action. Coraggio.